Uh, welcome once again to Adventures with Joe, guys. Just trying to shield the uh, shield the mic. Uh, back at Kermington again for part three. Uh, these uh, we actually found the shelters in the end, and we're going to check them out from World War II. Uh, thanks to Nick uh, Nick Stone for the maps you sent through through the uh, helping us find these, mate. So yeah, I do appreciate that. So I'm going to give you a shout out, um, Nick Stone. For this uh for these maps so yeah um with us today as always partner in crime irish explorer don't forget to to check her out So it looks like there's a few little buildings to have a little little wander through, guys. Oh yeah, it's nice to be out, I'll tell you. The work's done this week. We are out smashing it. Smashing it for the channel. World War II. And that one's still got a window frame open. But she's doing her intro a lot. <laughs> Bless her cottons. I love her to bits. She's good and... She's a good one. Right, let, without further ado, let's go and check it out, see what we got. World War II. Now we have Kermington. Let's see what's left. Of this, uh, wow. At least I don't need a torch. Oh wow, look at that, little hole in the ceiling. If only people, you know, if only people knew the real, the real part of war and what the sacrifice was like. Um, you know, I have the highest respect for military people and I always will for anybody who's served in any kind of services. For what these people did for us and what they went through is completely unreal. Giving up their lives, as I've always said, as I've always said, uh, you know, me dad is, well, you know, me dad's ex-war. Ex uh, as I've always said, for what these people dedicated for us in our lives, for us to have what we've got today, I think we're extremely lucky. Freaking nettles. Everywhere you go there's nettles. And them ginormous great thorns. So. Tiny little building. Some chairs in here. I guess the kids doss in here. Uh, I hope when they uh, when they destroyed that, they realised that was asbestos. Oh, I do like the view of that though. Right, let's go back. Let's go back that way. There is some businesses across the road, but not, we're not interested in them. Um, all we're interested in is the World War Two. The World War Two stuff. Hope they don't mind us out here. I don't think it's sent by them anyway. Can you imagine being in here, living in here? Oh, look at the expansion joints. How they put those together. Oh, look, and they're still a a baker light light cord lamp yeah you can see the original wiring running through the roof lock through the ceiling how bizarre 
Well, it's nice that there's a little few bits left. Uh, it is 70 odd years later, so you know, they are going to be. There is going to be a lot gone. So, Aliyev came into um, one of the most sort of famous squadrons, uh, ladies and gents, the most sort of famous squadron was 166, the uh, Lancaster squadron. Uh, that sounds like the RAF are up. Yeah, uh, 166 squadron, um, home to Lancaster. Obviously, this is uh, Bomber County as well. Um, morning. Yeah, all right. Afternoon as it may be now. Um, 166 uh, Squadron. Um, this one's a, a lot of junk. Why do people put loads of rubbish in these places? Um, yeah, Kermington, 166 Squadron, 1943 to 1945. Oh, wow. I kind of like that. The way that looks, the way Mother Nature's taking it back. Very bizarre. Very bizarre. What we got here? Oh, is that original? Could that actually be original? Nah. No, I don't think so. Let me know in a comment if, it, if that's uh, anything original. I can hear Irish talking to somebody. It looks like the residents and people around here are quite nice people, so that's good. We do like nice people. So this is the third one. This is the third third shelter. It's the one I kind of like the most, like nature's taking back over again. Always nice. Going to try and squeeze in here. I think we're going to be in for some bad weather on the way. Oh wow, this one's kind of been left more than the other ones. Uh, look, even still got the original metal frame window. Still open. A little bird in here. How cute. Hard to believe these supports are holding everything up, these con concrete lintels. Yeah. I like the way nature's taken back over, it's nice. It's nice to see. So that just over there in the distance is a Royal Air Force uh, plane doing uh, circuits at Kermington, which we now call Humberside. Uh, I think that's probably about it on here. Let's go and find Irish and see what she's up to. Yeah, there's two chairs in it. Someone's been chilled out in there. I hope they realise that the roof's made of asbestos. Yeah, yeah. Did you notice on this one, these tiles, they're they're probably original tiling out of here, but also if you look at the wiring in the roof oh, and yeah. the ceiling, and did you notice also there is actually still a baker light light there, look, oh, yeah. and that one, That's yeah, and a window frame look, yeah, and this one. with the with the metal window still in it, yeah, yeah. and the obviously the trunking in the ceiling. Uh, my apologies, uh, ladies and gents, uh, for calling this a dog shelter. It's actually not a dog shelter. It just looked like so tiny from over there, but it's uh, one of the air raid shelters that we've seen on many of the other explorers. Oh, it's flooded, but we can still get down to some sort of level and get in. But I ain't walking through that. There you go. Yeah, no dog shelter. Uh, 
It's an air raid shelter. It's a full size air raid shelter. Yeah, and it's even got the, the mounts on the door where the door used to be. So somewhere there would have been a door. Yes, very flooded. Yeah. Yeah, we've got these on part one. We've seen these uh, to this degree. Um, yeah, yeah, not a dog shelter. My apologies. Uh, if I'm not careful, I'll be in the doghouse. Oh, crikey. I'm stuck. It's got me. Ouch. Sounds like a breaking bone. I want my breaking. Oh. Check out the size of these thorns. Everywhere we go. Ginormous great things. There we go. One World War II shelter. Oh, it must have had a hatch on as well, look. Wow. Ooh. How did people climb down that? They must have been little. And not the modern chunky like me. Quite simple in construction though. Oops. No, we seem to have got the wire stuck. Right. I think that's it now. I think that's it on this one. There you go, that's it. Uh, that's it, friends. Except the beautiful sound in the background of the Royal Air Force doing circuits at Kermington. Well, as we formerly know, as uh, well, are we have Kermington, um, originally now Humberside Airport. Um, so we're done here. That's asbestos, that, be careful. Yes, corrugated asbestos. But it's on the ground, we're outside, so it doesn't really pose any danger. Um, so we're leaving this site. Uh, me and Irish Explorer guys keep following our channels, supporting our gear. Irish is getting prickled. There she is. Yeah, I think we need some Scooby snacks. We're starving. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna wander on. There we are. <laughs> That's a bit better. Um, yeah, thanks a lot. Um, always supporting us, you know. We are making this channel massive with some amazing content for World War II lovers and all, all kinds of exploring. Um, yeah, look at that behind me. Those big bollards. Those big ginormous bollards, whatever they are. So there was, there was quite a lot here at one time. All over one beside. I've never seen anything so big in my life. Um, so yeah, thanks a lot to people. We'll see you on our next video. Thank you.